We're back with part two. We are installing the voice builder from Google. And in our previous video, we were able to clone the repository. We were able to do all the prerequisites of setting up Google Cloud, installing Node.js, enabling all the services. We went through the deployment where we downloaded the repository. We logged in with G Cloud as well as Firebase. And we modified our deploy file to set it up with our project. We successfully deployed the initial setup as well as the cloud functions. Next step, we are deploying the UI. Now this is where actually Samir was still able to do this. And I don't know what all those errors were. Cannot connect to Dr. Damon. Is Dr. Damon running on this host? Let's just continue. Mm. So it looks like we had to install some additional commands. Now once this UI deploy stage is done, we should be able to create an example voice using speech synthesis, which would be sick. Because these use a couple big um, text-to-speech engines of deep learning models. So Merlin is a big deep learning neural network. It's a deep neural network for statistical parameter speech synthesis. So Merlin's toolkit can be used to generate speech, which is sick. That's really amazing. And then Festival, I believe, is similar. The Center for Speech Technology Research at the University of Edinburgh. C++, Java, Non-commercial and commercial, cool. How are we doing over on the deploy? So it looks like we're good, and it looks like we are now running our compute engine. So, I'm gonna try to deploy one more time. Okay, so it already exists. Let's see what the next step is. We can access the UI. So we should get an IP that we can access. It should end in 3389, or maybe not. What did I miss? So here's our external IP. I didn't want to do control C. So here's our external IP. And now we want to go to HTTP colon slash slash our external IP. What goes after that? We want to go colon 3389. Colon 3389. We cannot connect. Let's try again. External IP. should be able to see something so I, but I don't so I'm going to go over to compute engine I believe so let's go to Google's compute engine and here it is we should be able to see this This should be the same, it ends with 213, yeah, so here's our external IP. 
and I just want to connect to it. Still loading. So I'll try hitting this for another five, ten minutes, and if it doesn't work, I gotta move on to the next meeting. It's a little bit poopy, because I want this to work. Sorry about that. Sometimes I forget to put the headphones on and I sound super distant. But just trying to visit the IP is not really seeming like it's working. Um. Refuse to connect. Hmm. Um, so it's not working right now. And the UI component is not giving me what I would expect. And it's probably going to tell me, hey, you've already done this stuff. Yeah, it already exists. And right now I'm trying to deploy UI. So let's check deploy sh. Control F UI. Very clever, very clever project, but it's not working for me right now. So zone and location, I wonder if I can change some of these. I'm going to try changing these to more local. Google Cloud Zones. So let's go to with US East 1. No, East 4. So I'm going to change this project up. And then I'm going to change this from Asia to US. 
And now I'm going to run all three of those commands again. I'm going to deploy the initial setup. Okay, so these buckets already exist. So I think we're good on the initial setup. Let's try deploying the cloud functions again to see if we changed anything there. And it looks like we have unmet peer dependencies, which should be fine. And I think the deploy of functions is also already gonna be good. Yeah, it looks like we're, we're still going to be good on functions. So the only one that we've really changed is this UI, the user interface. And we're having some challenges with that. I love open source projects. I dislike and I'm a little bit frustrated when they don't work as expected. If you know anybody that would like to help our team with marketing and videography, we have a lot of raw content from our musicians. This is a paid gig, so let me know in the comments or you can DM us directly on all social media sites at Voice First AI. Again, if you're interested in helping us with some video editing, please reach out to us it's a paid opportunity to do work with our musicians on Alexa for Musicians. Okay, we've now deployed. Last one, deploy the UI. Let's see if it's any different. Unknown zone. You've selected a disk size of under 200 gigabytes. Okay, well let's change that. If you don't like it, let's change it. Disk size, is that what it's complaining about? Disk size of under 200 gigabytes. All right, let's go with 200 gigabytes. Boom. What else don't you like? And it says unknown zone for US East 4. Okay, well what was the zone? We were East Asia. Ah, maybe I have to put in one of those letters. All right, so let's go US East for 
Let's let's just leave it as C. Let's try it again. Permission denied. Okay, let's try this again and see if it works. Please work. We didn't get an immediate... Ah, <laughs> speaking. Mother fricks. Okay. Well... Let's see what we got now. All right, so now we've got US, East, and they're both called UI. They both have different internal and external IP addresses. However, I'm not able to get it to work. I'm hitting barriers and this is frustrating. Do they have any issues? Yeah, let's see what their issues are. January 9th, May 18th, 11 days ago. I'm not sure if they're addressing any of these, but I need to move on to the next project. So if you're interested in trying to get this to work, uh, check out the link in the description below and you can get started trying to build your own voice synthesizer powered by Google and their tech stack. If you know what happened and what went wrong, please let us know. We are trying to make this technology more accessible to musicians, business owners, and giving speech synthesis technology to anybody with basic computer skills. Thanks for tuning in. This is your man, Sweets, and enjoy your Wednesday. I'm signing off.